this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back for another Minecraft snapshot. This is Minecraft 2.0 for Monday, February 1st, 2013. Now, Mojang released this ultra update. Tons of new features in this. They've been holding off on this for a long time, guys, and they kept it quiet, and there's a lot of new stuff I'll show you. But, as you probably guessed, it is April 1st, so <laughs> this is an April Fool's joke. But Mojang went the extra mile, and they actually added all of this stuff into the game. Not everything in the changelog. You'll probably want to go through and read the changelog. I'll link it below in the description, because it has some really funny jokes in it. But a lot of the features were added, and I will go through them. Now let's start over here. A lot of these are really cool, and I hope they do get added to the game. First off, this is one you've probably seen mods and plugins for. This is Tinted Glass. Now if you uh, surround any of the dyes with the normal glass, you can make eight tinted glass. And here are all the colors, red, orange, yellow, lime, green, light blue, cyan, blue, pink, magenta, purple, light gray, dark gray, black, white, and then there's the normal dye. It's funny that there's a white one because we already have like a clear one, but it's still pretty awesome. And another feature you'll notice right here, this is a burnt out torch. Uh, torches now burn out after a very short amount of time. I don't think it's even like a whole day. And if you use a flint and steel, you can relight them. But uh, you can also just replace them with another torch. And, oh, looks like they burn out almost immediately, actually. <laughs> I think it might be random, but they don't seem to stay lit very long. Uh, that's a joke about an old feature that they almost added before. Now, here is another item. This is the Ethos Slab. Not Ethos Lab. Uh, this is when you do three TNT in a line like that, you can get a TNT slab like so, called the Ethos Slab. Now if I bring this over here and detonate it, you'll see it has a nice extra feature here. It actually flashes, I bet the model is like still the same, and... Oh, it actually it didn't pop out. Let me see. I'll try it again here. Uh, these are supposed to have an unusual effect when they explode, but it's not doing it. Typically it spawns in Anvil, and that tries to fall on you, but I'm not sure if I can replicate that. Anyways, moving on. Good way to farm anvils there, though, if you can get it to work. This is another really cool feature here. This is the block of coal. It is almost identical to the block of redstone, you'll notice, but it is a way to condense coal and charcoal, and I think it actually looks pretty good, even though it's similar. This is one that I think is likely to actually get put in along with the tinted glass, since they've already got the framework and it was very simple. I have a feeling these might make their way into 1.6. Now, some of the funnier features over here involve animals. Now, as you can see, there are two new types of animals here. There are the tiny little ponies that you can ride, and these big horses over here. But you will notice that these are pigs and cows reskinned. But you can ride the tiny ponies just like you would a horse. This is a joke about how we probably don't really need horses anymore because we have rideable pigs. But Mojang put them in anyways. And you'll notice this obese uh, horse over here, but I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, a magic system was said to be added, but the only remnant of that that I could find is that if you use any either of the golden apples and feed it to a sheep, they will float away. And eventually they will, I think, get so high that they die or explode and they drop their wool back down below them. So. Goodbye, little sheep. I'll send them all up, and they'll float away <laughs> into the heavens. Now, uh, I was talking about obese animals. Over here, I'm going to grab some carrots and some wheat, because uh, you can feed animals and overfeed them to be more realistic. Now, if I start feeding this pig, he will start to grow until he's a very chubby pig. And if we feed him too much, bam, he blows up into a bunch of whatever uh, he normally drops. We can do the same for cows, get a lot of leather and stuff can do it for sheep and get a bunch of wool. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Uh, you can feed them eight times, but if you feed them nine times, they will explode. So that's how you get this big one. And if you listen, maybe we'll get a nice sound effect here. I can start overfeeding some more of these guys. You can hear like a deeper, uh, a deeper sound coming from them. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, you can hear them. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this kind of cool animal stuff. Now chickens, uh, They've had the biggest overhaul. Uh, these are the new diamond chickens over here. They're blue, and they will actually uh, make lapis and diamond on occasion. They'll plant that instead of an egg. So if you have these, be careful. They can explode from having too much uh, pressure. But the normal chickens uh, have a lot of 
changes to them too. They've been reclassified as monsters. Now let me get my uh, my stuff here. I'm gonna go to survival, and we can. I'll show you how these guys work. If you look at them wrong, they will come after you, and they will attack. And if you kill them, they occasionally will spawn a another chicken in their place. Well, you gotta look out because they will spawn one right above where they died. So chicken in this update are classified as monsters. Whoop, there's another one. Uh, taking a page from Zelda and having them attack you if you attack them. So you gotta be careful. Man, they keep spawning. Okay. We're good. Uh, <laughs> so that's that change. Now over here uh, is... There's redstone bugs now, and I will show those in a sec. You might have glimpsed one. But first, the dropper has been renamed the flopper. And if you put anything into it and power it, when it comes out, it will be a fish. <laughs> so you can only get fish from your floppers here. And this should loop if I'm uh, if I'm doing it right. I was going to shoot out a bunch of these, but it doesn't seem to be going through. Oh, it's stuck on. That's why. Let's uh, grab this. Bam. Oh, oh well. Well, you, you'll see, you see that the fish come out of there. I had one set over here to show you the redstone. Uh, the redstone bugs. Now if you use redstone enough you will start to see here we go if they can come out there they are redstone bugs uh, the redstone bugs have taken a physical form oh Jesus turn this off um, <laughs> they will now be recolored silverfish in various shades of red and that is a way to really troll people if you're playing on this build <laughs> and um, you can put that in their house and they'll have a ton of bugs for them and quickly overrun the server but that is pretty awesome now over here I wanted to show you there is a new type of wither if you push or put a uh, pink wool block down with a flower pot on top of it and you take a rose and put it in there you will spawn the, the pink love wither it will go around and if I give it some sugar it will start to grow limbs and it will grab its limbs and it will follow me with, if I have sugar it's very fast it really likes sugar and as it goes around it basically has a bone meal effect and it will grow as you can see this whole area has been overgrown because I had one over here before but it will start to go around and use like a bone meal effect to grow flowers and grass wherever it goes and it looks like these little piggies actually like sugar a lot too weird man they're chasing me as well hmm these little the tiny ponies really like sugar okay so there's that now uh, we got the coal block we got the dyed glass, diamond chickens, lots of stuff. One thing I wanted to show you over here too is uh, the nether's a bit different. I tried putting the coal blocks into it and make a portal, but that didn't exactly work. I tried lighting it, it didn't do anything. So we're going to go in the nether and I'll show you quickly here that pigmen are a little different as well. I'll just grab a pigman spawn egg to speed this up. Uh, if you spawn pigman, they now have battle signs instead of... Uh, instead of their normal swords. So let's get out of here because the nether seems to be extremely laggy right now anyways. Uh, so yeah, that is most of the the new stuff here. There's a ton of things in the description such as like a fishing overhaul which actually removes fishing, combat changing where you have to use monsters and animals to fight other players, removing crossbows, lots of stuff that's not actually in the game. But there are some tidbits like new biomes, uh, they said they're going to add six new biomes, village generation, uh, changes, floating sky islands. Some of this stuff, because it's not in here, either wasn't implemented in times for April, time for April Fool's Day, or they're actually planning it for 1.6. So I have a feeling that a lot of what's going to be in 1.6 is actually hidden in the uh, the description for this update. So go take a look. I'll have, like I said, I'll have the link so you can go to see the full list of changes, or I'll just put the entire thing in the description if you guys want to take a look and uh, see all those. Now, uh, yeah, so this is this was a pretty significant, awesome uh, April Fool's joke from Mojang. We had all this stuff. I'm just going to double check to make sure I got everything. And I believe we have... Oh, the last... Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I caught that. That was one of the diamond chickens exploding from too much pressure. Uh, the last thing I wanted to to talk about is that I'm playing on a blue world, but I will exit out here, April Fool's, there we go, and you'll see there's two other types, a red and a purple. Now blue is all the new features, purple is both, but red is the super hostile world that I'll go into. Purple is new features and super hostile. So let's go into super hostile and uh, it looks fairly normal, but if you want a challenge, try playing on this. As you can see, the jungle's already burning down. 
Okay guys, I am back. I forgot to switch the jar out, but we are now using the red jar, <laughs> and we are in the red world. Now occasionally, while you are walking around, it will start to rain, and tons of lightning will strike everywhere, spawning a bunch of mobs that are using crazy gear. Okay, whoa, here we go. <laughs> ah, nope, nope, I'm not gonna, yep. <laughs> it's blazes, there's all this stuff that gets spawned. Let me see if I can find where... There it is. Look at all this. We got diamond sword uh, enemies. We got charged creepers. We got blazes everywhere. This is way harder. The zombies are all alerted like they started doing in 1.5. Tons of stuff. There goes all my gear. I'll grab my pants and I'm getting out of here. And then just as swiftly as they started, they stop. So if you want to try to play on this world, you're going to have to deal with lots of frustrating deaths <laughs> occasionally. But it is fun. So yeah, uh, I will have the links below. You can try out the piece, the more normal blue world if you want, or you can go purple or red if you just want the super hostile. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm now Steve. But uh, leave a like if you <laughs> enjoyed this. And uh, hopefully we'll see some of this cool stuff in Minecraft 1.6. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.